Hi there. Welcome to another Spod Customizer tutorial. Spod's Customizer allows your customers the freedom to design their own products. They can add their own text and use your designs or choose from our free design library. To get started, go to the Customizer. The Customizer carries Spod's full product range. Here in the Design section, your customer will find your designs as well as our free designs if you decide to enable them. Your customers can also upload their own images. You decide whether to enable this feature or not. The Add Text option features 55 different fonts and 20 different colors. Once the customer adds their product to the basket, they'll find it under the name Your Customized Product. If they click on it, they return to the customizer to edit it. You can add customizable product templates here. You can see that all these products give your customer an idea of what they could customize the product for. Perfect for gift shopping. When you click on a product, you land in the customizer. If you have products that can be purchased with or without customization, you can add an optional customization button on the product detail page. As you can see, the Customize button is added below the usual buttons. If you click on the Customize button, you'll be redirected to the Customizer. The Customizer is a great tool to upsell your existing products. Now that you've seen how interactive the Customizer can be for your customers, let's learn how to enable it. To enable the Customizer, you'll need to go to Settings first, then find the Customizer section. To activate it, you'll need to first define your profit margin. You can choose between a fixed amount or a percentage. Both are added to the SPOD product price. Let's choose 50% for now. For consistent pricing, the app automatically rounds the end price to 0.99. The difference will be added to your margin. Here you can select if you want to display our library of over 50,000 free designs to your customers. And here you can select whether to display adult designs or keep it kid-friendly. Lastly, you can choose whether your customers can upload their own images. Now let's activate the feature. The app has now configured the customizer and added it as a new page to your Shopify store. However, it's not linked yet. You need to add it to your navigation for your customers to find it. In the Shopify menu settings, you'll need to select the menu you want the customizer tool to be linked from. Then you'll need to add the page as a menu item. Choose a name for it and then choose the customizer page under pages. You can add the page to as many menus as you want. Now let's see how your store is looking. The customizer page is now reachable via the menu we selected. If you want to edit the page, just go to pages under online store. The page looks empty, but you can find the code when you hit the code view. You want to make sure you don't change this code, but you can of course change the page. Give it a nice description. Now refresh the page in your store and you'll find your changes. To upload your own designs into the Create Your Own tool, you'll want to go to the Settings page first. There you'll find your design library. Then you can upload your own designs. Either decide to publish them one by one or use our bulk settings. You can also delete them if you don't want to have them available for your customers. This means that it only vanishes from the Customizer Design Library. Any products created with said design will not be deleted. Now you'll find them displayed in your storefront. Inspire your customers and give them a product template to start with in the Customizer. There are two ways to do that. Either you send the customer from the product list page directly into the customizer or you add a customize button to the product detail page. For the first option, we'll create a product first and then go to the product detail page in the Shopify admin. To activate the customizer here, we simply need to change the template to product.cyo-deeplink. If you go to your store and click on the product, you'll now be redirected to the customizer. For the second option, adding a customize button to the detail page, we need to create another product first. Then when you go to publish it, you'll select allow customer to customize the product. That's all you need to do here. 
just publish the product like you normally would the product is now added to your store let's check if everything is working as expected now we can see our lovely product in the storefront and the customize button is there for your customers to play with so hopefully that helps you figure out how the spot customizer works we hope you have a lot of fun with it let us know in the comments how it goes and if you have any questions for us